Hey guys, welcome to a new video on Gorgeous Princess Creamy Beamy, the critically acclaimed classic WG comic by Stephanie Cherrywell, also known as Supercake Studio, who you can support on uh, Patreon, and um, you can obviously read Creamy Beamy on creamybeamy.comicgenesis.com. This video covers the character bios. This has uh, just uh, got a bunch of information about all the main players in the creamy, creamy verse. Starting off, we have our leading lady, Sugumi. Full name, Sato Sugumi. She's 152 centimeters and 62 kilograms. Wow, that's like heavier than I am. I th or maybe I'm heavier than that, I can't remember. I think I'm like 58 or something, I can't remember now. Occupation, student, warrior of justice, princess in exile of Sukura. Oh, what a wholesome looking lady. I, I do like her like knee, 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 are these knee socks, right? These are knee socks? I don't know, they're, they're cute. I've always wanted, I always, uh, where, where do you buy these? Did, did people even wear them anymore? Or are they like a 2000s thing? Growing up in an ordinary earth neighborhood, never thinking of herself as more than a rather shy and clumsy girl with a penchant for eating too much junk food. Sugumi was delighted to learn she was really an alien princess from the cake world of Sucra, and even more delighted to learn that grease and sugar was the ideal food for her extraterrestrial biochemistry. Now it's a toss-up whether a newfound life as a donut-chomping warrior of justice will go to her head or her thighs first. But she hasn't forgotten her roots, and still finds time to obsess over boys, fail tests, and be late to school over and over and over again. How relatable! Nah, actually, I like arrive at work. I, I'm that guy who arrives at work, like, early. Um, I'm very wholesome, and I pass all my tests. So, actually, not relatable. I'm a bit of an overachiever, so... <laughs> can't relate. But not yes, my girl! My fa- Banana's my favorite, she's awesome. Full name, Banana, Banana Bazooka. Uh, 33 years old. Oh my gosh, she's the perfect age as well. <laughs> 188 centimeters, that sounds pretty tall. 85, wait, 85 kilograms? That's heavy! How, for, for a skinny woman, how is she? That's heavy, what the heck? She must be all muscle, okay, I don't know where the weight comes from. Six star general in the Imperial Ar Army of Usaginar, head of Usaginari Imperial Expansion Fleet. When Banana enlisted in the army at age 12, Got some things to talk about, about child soldiers, uh, Usagina. She thought she would be joining her foremother's endless struggle against the mindless barbarians to the north, east, south, west, and down. Then the news broke. Those others really weren't so bad, the Empress had decided. And in fact, all the continents of Usagina were going to call a truce and take care of the real barbarians that lived to the up. By the time she was 14, she had passed through the War Academy with top marks in combat and subterfuge. At 15, she proved herself a near-invincible killing machine on the battlefields of Tarada, one of several small allied nations the newly united empire had wiped out to stave off boredom until the space fleet was built. And at 18, she had already risen to the rank of general in time to lead the invasion in tandem with her twin sister Vanilla. The original plan had been simply to crush Sucre so that Saginaw would be left to its eternal civil war and peace. But the whole operation went really smoothly and everybody just got just loads of free cake and when it was discovered that the Sucrans had starships with advanced features like hyperspace travel, landing gear and life support systems that didn't rely on a really long hose! Look, Usaginar may be, look, as we've established, Usaginarians are kinda catching up. Um, it seemed a shame not to find what else was out there to conquer. Banana spent 15 years heading up the invasion fleet and added a score of worlds to the Empire, until the news came that Sucre wasn't so totally defeated as they'd thought. She can come and conquer my planet any day. <laughs> um, yeah, Banana, Banana is great. We, we love Banana. Um, she got this epic, epic tie. Hasn't become really, really fat in the story so far, which is immensely disappointing. Come on, guys. Vanilla, Vanilla Bazooka, 33 years old, 187 centimeters, 210 kilograms. I I, re I really like Vanilla's design though. I like I love the red the red colors and her her funny hat. It's great. Ten Star General in the Imperial Army of Usagina, acting queen of the colonially occupied territory of Sucra. It seems as though Vanilla's only talent was eliminating those who got in her way. But really, what other talent do you need to get to the top? 
initially almost flunking out of the War Attack Academy for terrible grades in combat. Her marks improved out. The instructor who called her fighting style trite and pedestrian was killed by a rogue Dimitridon that somehow got into her boot. Unfortunately, after spending the pre-war period playfully backstabbing her way up to the rank of general, she found herself suddenly expected to actually help manage the invasion itself. Luckily for her, she had a highly talented sister to leave all the actual work to, and since at the time they were hard to tell apart, she had little trouble re reaping the majority of the credit and wrangling total authority over the newly conquered colony. Vanilla now rules Sucra with an eye and an increasingly pudgy fist, sending a percentage of the annual cookie harvest back to Usagana while gorging her way to mountainous proportions on the rest of the planet's bounty. Though midway through her second decade of rule, she seems soft and complacent, a sharp and steely heart is buried deep under her blubber. With the sudden news that her position isn't quite as secure as she thought, the sharp claws of the Machiavellian maiden may soon be felt once more. Ix! Oh yeah, this guy. Wow, he has some bright clothes. And a really bad star tattoo. Ix Hoshibana. 23? Maybe years old? 182 centimeters, 75 kilograms. Guardian of Princess Creamy Beamy, wandering rock musician, born on a cookie farm in Sucra's bu bucolic mysis fields? Young X grew up chafing under the yoke of regal oppression. Many the sunny day he would spend sitting on a stump strumming the simple electric guitar he'd carved himself and dreaming of a world where the royal family no longer held sway. <gasps> This guy, this guy sounds awesome. Then the Usaginari troops landed and made the Sukha nobility look pos positively benevolent by comparison. Now X works to build Sukra's one hope, the fugitive princess into a champion that can free the planet. Phase two is to immediately depose her and establish democracy. He hasn't gotten around to telling her that part. X, X sounds like the, the best, the best character now, incredibly based. Anarchist over here. D also, does does Tsugumi really want to be the queen of uh, Sucra? I don't. I don't think so. I think everyone wins in that case. She just she could just go back and live on the earth again. Yukiri. Oh my gosh, the most beaten up character in this comic. She 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 was like had like had her brain fried for like the the, the whole first chapter. Watami Yukiri. 155 centimeters, 50 kilograms. Student. Alien hunter. Tsugumi's best friend and the one who has been most frequently called upon to drag her back from the ice cream parlor or fudgeteria after a bender. Yukiri is passionately interested in alien life and extraterrestrial visitors, but is totally unaware that she knows one personally. With the recent sighting of a mysterious warrior at school, Yukiri's interest has been piqued, however, and if she ever learns who Creamy BB really is, it's possible that not even the bonds of friendship would save Tsugumi from a surprise dissection! No! Yukiri always wears black because it helps her feel like she's in a secret network. What are these shoes? What? Oh god, does she wear like UFO shoe flying saucer shoes? That's what they look like. Principal Peter. Oh yeah, the egg thing. Yuki Yuki Pa Peter the whoa, 16th? Uh, who knows how old he is? He's 100 centimeters tall and he weighs 2 kilograms! <laughs> Principal of Yas Yasunaga Koichiro Middle School. Not too much is known about the origins of Principal Peter, making him a true man of mystery, yet nobody really cares that much. Some say he's a balloon creature that escaped from the circus, others say he hails from some mad future world where eggs evolved from men, and his likeness is the result of a concealed anti-grav belt. Still others point out that perhaps significantly he and P Bigfoot have never been s photographed together. Beware the principal's tie was once found written in blood on a mirror in the girl's bathroom, but he probably put it there himself to add to his legend. What was he doing in the girl's bathroom? That's a bit suspicious. Tsukumi's mom! What a wholesome... No, she's not a wholesome lady. Uh, Sato Jezebel Ruth Eve. What a name. He's 30 years old, 173 centimeters, 62 kgs. Daughter to saleswoman for Nisei Electronic Supply. Of course, she's a... Saleswoman trying to come in your door and sell you bad vacuum cleaner. Left on the doorstep of a nun barrow as a baby, Jezebel Ruth Eve was raised within the church and was even planning to go into nunning herself before a cosmic football to the groin left her with a completely unexpected daughter. 
Unfortunately, upon deciding to raise the baby alien as her own, she bumped up against the stained glass ceiling. Having a kid would be bad enough, said the Queen Nun, but to have a baby when you've never even fooled around is evidence of some new form of super indecency unknown even to our genius nun-killer scientists. And so the nuncipality stamp nun weird nunderage mother on poor Jisabel's head and threw out in the street in her nun to wear. She managed to get a job as a sales lady for a small electric gadget company and now works hard to earn enough commissions to keep her daughter in snacks. But though she's tried to graze Sugumi as an average human girl, her daughter's past is catching up to a man. Frickin' these aliens, alien people, that's trying to save their princess, frickin' up Sato's life. Like, man, why, why it gotta be like that? That's rough, lady. Frick those nuns, man. I want none of their business. <laughs> Yakisaurus. Rest in peace, man. Yakisaurus Rex. 13 minutes old. 18 meters tall. 150 tons. Delicious monstrosity. The gigantic and deadly Yakisaurus starts its life as an ordinary Taiyaki, before being brought to horrible life by one of Banana's instant monster pills. Although it exhibited some intelligence in its final moments, that probably was just an illusion, for its brain was later discovered to be a lump of crystallized sugar. The overnight disappearance of the rest of the carcass was blamed on hungry birds. Momoka! Momonga Momoka! 149cm, 38kg. Student, cutie pie. The heiress of Momotech Industries, Momoka lives a life of unbelievable wealth and comfort. Surrounded by the plushness known only to those whose parents have a home business selling gourmet mushrooms over the internet. Despite her fungal fortune, Momoka is sweet and naive. She's also rather accident prone. Fortunately, when her right arm was bitten off by Yakisaurus, Momotech was there with a prosthetic up replacement. A truly marvelous bit of technology, Momoka's new arm is strong enough to lift a car. But as that would rip her shoulder off, she probably won't be trying it soon. Nice. Nice ro robot arm. Gourmet mushrooms. Chintaro! Oh yeah! The guy who, uh, Banana, it, it, if you saw the, uh, the, um, special bonus comic where Banana moved in with this guy. Yeah, he's now living with, uh, Banana. I know. Lucky guy. It should have been me. Choda Chintaro. 27, 178 centimeters, 68 kgs. Tissue hander alter, prisoner of war. Formerly merely an odd-looking fish wraith Smeagol sort of person. <laughs> wow, wow, dude, he's Smeagol looking? What? Who made his living handing out little packages of tissues. Chintaro is now the personal earth guide of General Banana Bazooka. Current duties involve keeping the local tactical base clean. <gasps> That's rough, ma she's making him clean his room? Preparing vegetarian meals, Usaganari don't eat meat except for that of other Usaganari, and educating Banana about how to survive on the planet known to her as Sarukiki 3. It's presently unknown how part of his hair floats in space apparently unconnected. <gasps> He's like, uh, like it looks like a friggin' um, anglerfish. Scientists point out a parallel to the dog's nose on the obscure sitcom Family Dog. Mysterious. I'm gonna have to ask Wait Comic Guy about that one, I haven't heard of doll family dog and creamy beamy gorgeous princess creamy beamy daughter of regal king gluteus the 27th that is and statuous queen razzy berry heir to the throne of the glorious rotating kingdom of sucra 152 centimeters 62 kgs and up obviously this is you know the alter ego of tsugumi um spoilers if you haven't read any of the story so far but i'm pretty sure this is labeled like part seven or something so i don't know why you're here um, student, warrior of justice, princess in exile of Sucra. But for a lifelong deficiency in royal jelly, this would have been what Tsugumi looked like. In this form, she's virtually indestructible, considerably stronger and more agile, and can engulf incredible amounts of food to burn for quick energy and rapid healing. There are likely a load of other powers buried in her regal genes, but since the full strength of a royal Sucra hasn't been required for centuries, she'll have to work out these forgotten abilities on her own. Oh, she's gonna unlock special powers! <gasps> Power-ups! That's epic! How many of them relate to being fat and eating food? Probably all of them. And now yeah, that is all the uh, major players so far. It's, oh boy, I cannot wait to get into the next arc! It's gonna be exciting. Uh, definitely stay tuned for that, um, and definitely if you want to read the comic yourself, and I do recommend that because we do... Um, our, our dub is definitely the four kids dub, if you know what I mean. So check it out on creamybeamy.comicgenesis.com. And also support the artist uh, at Supercake Studios 
on uh, Patreon. That will be linked in the description. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.